Hi everyone, I'm so excited. You can tell by the smile on my face. I'm excited. Oh, you guys aren't gonna come over later and slap the smile off my face, are you? But anyway, I've got my new wine subscription today that just came in and it's by Wink, W-I-N-C. Thirsty is a new way to live. There's four bottles of wine that came in here. Three of these wines, I've never had that variety before. I'm so excited to open this up and try to figure out which one I want to taste tonight. And I'm so excited to have you guys here. So I hope that you stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. It's going to be another episode of Wine Diaries. Yeah, I feel like that's all I've done lately, but I've got tons of things to unbox. I just haven't had the energy to do it. And doing wine is so easy. You don't really have to worry too much about it. Well, you do have to put some makeup on and you got to brush your hair and try to figure out what to wear. And I still have pajama bottoms on under this dress though. Yeah, so I'm so happy that to see you guys here. Um, I've missed you guys so much. I know I haven't been uh, doing as many videos and spending uh, as much time on YouTube as I would like to go and watch your videos and comment on yours, but I hope to be there soon. I'm getting, I think I'm getting my energy back and getting stronger every day. So it's just gonna be catching up at work and then um, trying to get onto some fun things. But anyway, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so appreciative of each and every one of you. You guys mean the world to me. So thank you so much for all your support. And I hope you all give this video a like and comments, of course, are always welcome. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what kind of wines I should try. Alrighty, so let's get into the wink, shall we? So anyway, I've been toying back and forth with different wine categories. I love getting my vinyl box and of course it's a live lifestyle box as well. So you get some jewelry and you usually get a treat and just some fun items that are in there and it's a quarterly subscription. The last year on Facebook, they did come out with uh, two extra boxes, which was really, really nice. So I'm gonna be watching for those as well. And then I started to get that sweet wine subscription. I got the first one and the first wine was, uh, well, I don't know, it wasn't really for me. The second and the third ones were okay, but it wasn't anything really special. So, so for about the same price, I thought I would try something else. And this one, it's called Wink, W-I-N-C. And so it's $59.99, I believe. And you can get it every month. You can skip months whenever you want to do. So we'll have to see how that goes. But it's four bottles of wine. You take, uh, do like a little questionnaire that took maybe less than a minute. And they don't say to you, what kind of wines do you like or anything like that. It's, you know, what uh, foods do you like? Do you like Skittles? Do you like M&Ms? Uh, do you like pizza? Do you like hamburger? Do you like fish? Do you like this, that, or the other thing? So it kind of tunes what you would like to eat. And from there, they come up with um, some recommendations for you. So when it's all said and done, that first one that you get, it's twenty nine ninety six four bottles of wine. They gave me some recommendations. I was going to like, I don't know what these are, but then I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go with it. And you know, next month, or if I skip a month, then the next time I might play around with subscriptions or play around with the, um, the wines that they pick for me, just as I develop my taste and figure out what I like and what I don't like, it'll make it this process so much easier. But for that, it's really good. And like I said, it's $59.99. $59 after this. Shipping should be free. They'll also give me a code that um, if anybody uses my code and I feel like I'm, oh, I'm going crazy with my hands because I want to open the bottle of wine, but I'm going to keep them down here. But yeah, so they'll give me a link so that if you use my link, you're still going to get that um, bait first price for the $29.99. But um, if you use my link, it'll give me a free bottle. And if you go back and get a second bottle, like if um, you like this subscription and you get it the next month, they'll send me a second bottle. So yeah, so it's really looking like it's fun to do. Alrighty, so it came in this box. I ordered this on January 16th. 
and it's delivered today 121 shipping was really fast it came from pennsylvania the wine was wicked wicked cold it is still cold i did not have to put it in the refrigerator it comes in this box it's far in here it is perfectly packaged no breakage or anything like that when I went online before I decided to get this one, I saw that everybody, when they opened their first bottle, they got like this booklet that showed how to pair wines and what you would put with it in descriptions. I didn't get that, so I don't know if that's something they just do when you get a, this for a PR, or if they forgot to put it in, or they just don't do it anymore. But anyway, so I got four bottles, so let's show you what they are. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do this yet, but um, this first one, it's called matchlock and it's a cabernet sauvignon and it just tells you a little bit about it so it says it's oaky it's dark fruit it's barrel aged it's got a medium body um dry 14.1 percent alcohol so it's like 28 proof this other one that they gave me is alma libre and it's a 2020 Camonere, and it's from Chile. So I've never had this kind. So this looks like it would be pretty. It looks like a really nice countryside. And again, this one is a medium body. Um, sweetness, it's dry, 13.8% alcohol. It says it's got tasting notes of bell pepper, cranberry, crushed rock, and dark cherry. The crushed rock has me wondering but it does sound good and it's a kind i haven't had before so that sounds really interesting to try this other one that they sent it's a french wine and it's la la Telle du sud maybe so this is a white blend right product of france this one it's light it's dry it's 13.1 percent and it says it's a light subtle it's got tasting notes of honey lemon lychee and white flowers so that sounds like a nice sipping wine as well and this last one has me curious as well so this one is called chami and this one is from south africa it's got this on the label um it says it's a medium body again it's dry 13 percent alcohol it says it's elegant aromatic jammy and luscious so they all sound good um and of course i'm when i was trying to think of how i wanted to do this i i mean if i was working um well I'm, i am working but if i was at the office i would have no problem opening all four of these and just doing a quick taste test and then taking the rest into work the next business day or something and say hey guys let's do some appetizers after work and have wine tasting but when i'm here by myself and i'm not going into the office i don't know if i want to open four at once um, i don't know if maybe the next time i get this if maybe i will just tape it every night that i open it and then put it together at the end and that might be a good way to do it too so you can tell what all these are like but um anyway while well, i got this one in my hand we might as well open this one right all righty and then because i'm trying all these different wines too and um how do i remember what they're like i have no idea i think so i decided to make myself a little notebook wine tasting and reviews and i got these sheets on amazon and you can get these sheets so you can get a really nice leather portfolio i just uh, have to style a 99 a notebook from a walmart and i've only done two so far because i've just got this and i'm trying to figure out so i put the mario in here and so i got the label off right here with one of those uh, label peeler off a of thingamajiggies and just kind of write my notes in there um what the fragrance was like what was the taste like uh, more important to me is would i buy it again would i not buy it again and then the other one that i did was that first one that i did from the uh, sweet wine club from the stella rosa and then i just got my notes next to it so i thought that would be a good way to do this and then you know and then going forward i don't know if i should have kept them separate and then would i buy it again would i not buy it again i don't know so anyway you gotta start somewhere and figure out what you want to do and then of course because you know wines i like to have a little appetizers with it so uh since i did have to go out and get creamer when i was out last week when i went to the office to drop off paperwork i got these little pastry shells right and i got some brie cheese and um 
yeah, I had everything else in the house. So these three of them I made. So I got cut up some brie cheese and I put the brie cheese in there. And then I put just a dollop because these, these are tiny. So just a little bit of cream cheese to kind of soften it. And then I put in both the honeycut mustard and the red hot pepper jelly mustard jelly red hot pepper jelly and the honey cup mustard and then these other ones which I didn't put enough in but uh, these are just um, some I had Colby Jack cheese so I cut up that into real small little cubes mixed it in with some pepperoni bites and had them all melt together so those are my snacks so and that's what one of them looks like and then this is the one with the pepperoni and the cheese so I just thought that would be a fun little snack to have. Oh gosh, I don't know which one I really wanted to have. I'm, I think I'm going to have that Chami. That one just sounds kind of, uh, well, the one with the crushed rock. Oh my gosh, this is hard. Okay, we're going to do the, the one from South Africa. All right, so I have my handy dandy opener right here. And so let's get this open and I hope... Friday, right? So I hope that everyone's having a great day. We were, oh my gosh, it was cold again last night. We were like 30 below again last night. And uh, we went up to 15 today. So of course got to 15 and we got about an inch of snow. But it's not snowing anymore. It did look pretty when it's falling. Again, and this is probably the one that they, they tell you you should want. I do have two aerators, but oh my God, it does smell good. But why not? Just put a little bit in here. This is a really light pink. Well, it looks dark, but when it was coming out, it looked kind of light. Chami. So here it does look dark, but it is pretty translucent in person. And it's really, on the monitor, it's coming in dark, but it is, it is light. And I do see how it coats the glass. I don't know if you can see how it coats the glass. I still don't know exactly what that means. Some people say it's sugar. Some people say it's the alcohol. I don't know, but it is pretty. It's like a light kind of purpley red, but it is lighter colored and it does smell nice. So I smell um, something tart, like cranberry back here. I mean, cherry, some raspberry. Alrighty. So cheers, everyone. I hope everyone had a great week and you're ready to have a great weekend. And cheers. It is on the dry side. Of course, I know it's dry. But you get that acidity from the fruits. Kind of smells like, tastes like a tomato. A little bit like acid, like tomato too, a mix with the fruits. So as you start to swallow it, that's when your mouth just starts watering from the acids in it. And it just kind of blends and just kind of comes alive as you start to swallow it. But you can't, um, I mean, the dryness is already gone and I'm just kind of left with that kind of sweet aftertaste. It's very, very smooth. It's very drinkable. I think this would be good for sipping. Now, let me tell you what it says. I did print out my cheat sheets. And I think it probably would have been in that book that they sent. But anyway, it's from Western Cape, South Africa. Or it's 2020 called Chami Sin, Sin Salt. 13% um, alcohol. It says it's got tasting notes of cranberry, dark cherry, raspberry, and tomato leaf. It's a zippy Sin Salt that's quaffable complex and ready for adventure. Uh, Chami is slang for a friend in the gorgeous lands of South Africa where the sin salt was made. It's produced in the Western Cape region where the cool afternoon sea breeze creates favorable conditions for ripening. The wine was created gently during fermentation and maturation. It was aged in stainless steel to maintain the true nature of the varietal varietal and minimal sulfates added. The end result is a vivacious sin salt that's got a bright berry fruit note balanced with a hint of earth. It says um, you should serve it at room temperature 
It pairs well with pizza, that's my kind of wine, cured meats, veggies, and barbecue. Alrighty, so to me, it's, um, you know, and if I had a sweet wine, and I do like, and it's weird because I put down that I like sweets a lot, but I didn't get any sweet wines. But when I get the sweet wines, I mean, I could fill the glass up to here, and, and I would drink the whole thing. If I'm having, like, these red dryer wines, this is good for the night, and I can sip on this. It'll take me a couple of hours, and I'm good to go. So I think maybe that's why I'm getting into the red wines, because I'd rather just kind of sip the wines, enjoy it, have maybe dinner with it, or some appetizers, uh, maybe just um, sit while I'm doing YouTube and things like that, and it's just uh, it's just a nice relaxing night for me so anyway let me know your thoughts on that if um you'd rather i did when i open these if i do all of the wines and then just kind of put it together at the end so that you can kind of see all the wines together and what they all tasted like or just do separate videos throughout the month or whatever but that said i am so excited that you guys stopped in to visit and it means more to me than i can ever let you guys know and you guys are amazing um i appreciate you guys so much and um yeah so we will chat again later i've got tons of unboxings to do them need to get some energy to get that done but you know i'm getting there and yeah so i hope everyone goes out and has a great weekend love you guys bye bye